in previous class we seen the differentiation and first principle or fundamental rule of differentiation then we solve some problems on like general forms like some difference then product rule then quotient rule then we also seen function of function like chain rule right so we also seen some special cases like d by dx of f dash of x by f of x or we can say d by dx of log f of x then under root f of x like then f of x is equal to under root f of x plus under root f of x plus and so on infinity then y is equal to x power f of x power something like that in infinity forms like so now in normal differentiation what we are doing is we are finding the derivative of in a function with respect to with respect to one of its variable now. right so one of its variable but coming to your this parametric differentiation this is doing the differentiation of a function with respect to another function with respect to one of its variable with respect to one of its function like let us try to see from this parametric differentiation definitely will gain one mark nana it's very simple chapter and easiest one so now see let y is equal to f of f of t and x is equal to g of t both are the functions of t only are two parametric equations of a curve then d by dx is equal to d by dt of f of t by d by dt of g of t very simple that is taking the derivative of this y and derivative of this x tana, right so always we are keeping this y in the numerator and x in the denominator so that is given by f dash of t by g dash of e or we can say that y1 by x1 or we can also represent as y dash by x dash tana. so this is nothing but your d by dx or we can say first order derivative right so now try to see if you want to find the second order derivative that is d square by dx square. So what is basically this d square by dx square? That is equal to d by dx of d by dx. Yes or no? This is normally your second order derivative. How we can write d by dx of d by dx. So now we are finding this d by dx that is given by d by dt of f of t and d by dt of g of t. So then you will get this d by dx in function of t nana yes or no this f y is an f of t function of t and x also function of t right so if you take the derivative of those d by dx will be in the function of t only right now if you take this d by dx and substitute here d by dx of this d by dx as a function of t so here with respect to x yes to no variable t outundi. so for finding this d square by dx square what we are doing here d by dt of or we can say, here is the equation ni, d by dx of d by dx. Lo, here is the dx. I will show you a little bit. Right? So, chundi, ikkada dx. Undi. So, if you divide dt, you can multiply dt. Toh, multiply if you cancel these two, it will become d by dx of d by dx only. So, now why we are taking this thing? Here, this d by dx is function of t. So, that's why we are doing with respect to t and taking dt by dx. So this dt by dx is nothing but here. So basically you will find this dx by dt from this second equation. So if you just reciprocal of this, it will come dt by dx. This is second order parametric differentiation. Right? While doing this, you need to be careful. Right? One more thing, you can do this parametric differentiation in very simpler manner. So first try to see what are the expressions they given. Let us suppose they given y is equal to something and x is equal to something. Definitely, you need to take the y dash and x dash. This, this is the one method that they are asking the question. The second method is they are not mentioning this is y and this is x. So now they will given find the derivative of, let us suppose, sin x with respect to cos x and r. Right? So now this is the another way of asking this parametric differentiation question. So here this with respect to will always be in the denominator part that is your x and sin x is your numerator part that is y nana. Right? So in this case what you can do here with respect to tarawata undo other denominator loan to with respect to mandar undo the numerator loan to the just you need to take the differentiation of denominator and differentiation of numerator that thing only right differentiation of sin x is cos x divided by differentiation of cos x is minus sin x so nothing but your minus cot x like that very simple 
so now let us move to the problems now see the question x is equal to 80 square y is equal to 280 then find d by dx right so we know d by dx is nothing but d by dt of y divided by d by dt of x so what is d by dt, d by dt of y what is y that is 280 divided by d by dt of your 80 square so now take the differentiation of 280 what will become 2a divided by differentiation of 80 square 280 280 very good so here 2a 2a will get cancelled you will get 1 by t is your answer that is your dy by dx you can see this dy by dx is function of t is function of t right so this is your answer now try to solve this question find the dy by dx 3t by so 2 differentiation of 3t by 2 yes so if you take the differentiation of t cube it will come 3t square divided by differentiation of t square is 2t so tt will get cancelled that is 3t by 2 is your answer or 3 by 2 into t is the correct answer clear how to find this parametric differentiation function with respect to another function right or differentiation of a one function with respect to another function now let us move to the next question if x is equal to a cos cube theta y is equal to a sin cube theta then find dy by dx so y dy by dx is equal to differentiation of y it will come a is a constant what is differentiation of sin cube theta it will come 3 sin square theta into cos theta. cos theta right clear divided by here differentiation of a cos cube theta will become a into 3 cos square theta into minus sin theta differentiation of cos theta will become minus sin theta now a will get cancelled 3 3 will get cancelled 1 cos will get cancelled 1 sin will get cancelled so what is the remaining numerator law sin on the denominator level minus cos theta sin. here minus is there this cos theta is there so what is the answer minus tan theta is your answer clear now try to solve this question and tell me the answer who is this mute yourself tan theta okay minus tan theta minus tan theta Let's wait for the other other answers as well. Sin theta by one minus cos theta. Sin theta by one minus cos theta. Okay. Much variation in the answer. Let's try to solve. Dy by dx that is equal to differentiation of a into a is a constant. One differentiation of one is definitely zero minus cos theta it will come just simply sin theta divided by a into a is a constant differentiation of theta is one see ma previous case law market t on the with respect to tsm you can treat on the with respect to theta only no need to worry about that right so here it will get one minus cos theta a will get cancelled your answer is sin theta by one minus cos theta if you want to stop here if the option is there you can stop here or if you want to proceed further, what is 1 minus cos theta? Yeah, 2 sin square theta by 2. Theta by 2. Then sin theta can be written in the half angles. What is that? 2 sin theta by 2. Cos theta by 2. Cos theta by 2. So 2, 2 will get cancelled. 1 sin will get cancelled. What is the answer? Cot theta by 2. Cot theta by 2 is the correct answer. Clear how to solve? Yes, sir. Now let us try to solve the next question. Here both I given x, uh, y. Let's make one thing is x. x is equal to a cos theta and y is equal to b sin theta. Tell me what divided by dx will look. Minus cot theta. By a cot theta. Let's try to solve b into cos theta divided by a into minus sin theta. 
So what is the answer? Minus B by A into cot theta. This is the correct answer. Clear? Any doubt? Okay, sir. Now, see the other model log x base 10 with respect to x square. With respect to x square, the denominator is Before that, with respect to it is in the numerator. So now, dy by dx is equal to differentiation of log x with respect to uh, base 10. What will come with respect to x? Chundi. Make a x is equal to something, y is equal to something, it is in the form of whether t or theta. Maybe some phi they will give. But with respect to something and already function each other. Log x based on another function with respect to x uh, means function of x and x square is also a function of x. Nana. So now what is the differentiation of log x based in? 1 by x log 10. 1 by x log 10 divided by differentiation of x square? 2 x. So now what this thing, this thing will come? One by two x square log ten. Very good. One by two x square into log ten. Right? So this is the correct answer. Now sine inverse x with respect to cos inverse of under root one minus x square. So what is cos inverse of under root one minus x square? Sine inverse x. Very good. So, sin versus x with respect to sin versus x, how much is it? 1. Very good. The correct answer is 1. Nana. 1 is the differentiation of 1 to 0. With respect to chess, direct ga, differentiation is this. Kundanam. Sin versus x is differentiation. Ikra sin versus x is differentiation. So, both will get cancelled each other. So, your answer is 1. Now, try to solve these questions. e power x with respect to root x. 2 root x e to the power of x. 2 root x e to the power of x. Yes, correct answer. So, numerator part that is e power x divided by differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x. So, it will become 2 root x e power x is the correct answer. Now try to solve the next question. Log secant x with respect to tan x. So what is the differentiation of log secant x? Tan x. Yes. Right. So if you in the numerator part, it is log secant x. That is 1 by secant x into differentiation of secant x will become secant x into tan x. Right. So this secant x, secant x will get cancelled divided by differentiation of tan x is what ma? Second square. square x. So now tan x can be written as what? Sin x by cos x divided by secant square x. Right? So now what we can do? Take this secant square x to the numerator part. It will come sin x divided by here. This is multiplying this and it goes to the numerator. It will become cos square x. One cos will get cancelled. So your answer is sin x into cos x. Or if it is not there in the option, just multiply with 2 and divide by 2. What will become? 1 by 2? Sin 2x. Sin 2x. So this is your answer. Clear? Yes, sir. Right. Let us try to solve these questions. Very simple one. Sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square with respect to tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square. So what is sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square? Two tan inverse x. Two tan inverse x. What is tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square? Two tan inverse x. Two tan inverse x only. So two tan inverse x with respect to two tan inverse will come what? One. One. Right. So one is the your correct answer. Next. Cos inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square with respect to tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square. 1. 
one only so these two will become 2 to inverse x 2 to inverse x to so 2 to inverse x with respect to 2 to inverse x will become 1 nana now try to see this question this is not the part of this parametric differentiation so you can consider this in your normal differentiation try to see the question dy dx of sin square of cot inverse under root 1 plus x by 1 minus x nana so how to solve this question just think for a while any idea see ikkada sin square undi sin square ni manu em cheyalem first inner side undi cot inverse undi cot inverse ni em marchalemu under root 1 plus x by 1 minus x undi ippudu ikkada E1 x place lo something manam replace chesina pudu ikkada cot inverse anedi cancel ayyala chusukovali mean if you solve this 1 plus x by 1 minus x or under root 1 plus x by 1 minus x you need to get this cot something cot 2x or cot x whatever it is right so what we need to substitute 1 plus x by 1 minus x something you can relate with the 1 plus cos 2 theta by 1 minus cos 2 theta right so what I'm doing here in the place of x, I'm putting cos 2 theta. So what will become? What is 1 plus cos 2 theta by 1 minus cos 2 theta? That is 2 cos square theta divided by 2 sin square theta. So 2 to value cancel. Cos square by sin square will come cot square. Under root cot square theta. So if you come outside, it will come cot theta. Yes or no? Right. So now substitute this cot theta here. What will become? sin square of cot inverse of cot theta so what will become what is cot inverse of cot theta theta right yes or no so now what i am doing i am writing this sin square theta as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 can you write like this? Say yes or no? Yes, sir. So now in the place of cos theta, what we can substitute? We assume cos theta as cos two theta as x. So now we can assume in the place of cos theta uh, cos two theta as x. So it will come one minus x by two. Now this is the some uh, what we can say. So after solving, so this entire thing will become this one minus x by two. So now find the divide x of this one minus x by two. Tell me the answer. Minus 1 by 2. Yes, minus 1 by 2 is the correct answer. 